Hello everyone, my name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precisionelect.com. That's precision-elec.com. We are your industrial automation service center. Drives, motors, controls, automation, PLCs, you name it, we've done it for over 30 years. If you have any questions, we sell these products online and we also are more than willing to help you. So feel free to give us a call. Today's video is gonna continue the series on the ACS355 variable frequency drive, and we're gonna be covering how to start the drive from a push button panel. This is actually just a basic two button start stop control, and it only requires three wires. We're gonna have a common, or a, I'm sorry, a plus voltage coming into the start button, and then the other side of the start button is gonna come into the drive, and then we have a plus voltage coming into the stop button, and the other side of the stop button, which is a normally closed, is going into a second input on the drive. And then we need to make a slight programming change. And after we make that programming change, the drive will be ready to accept those inputs and we will be good to go. So let's go ahead and get it wired and programmed and go from there. Now the first part of this video is gonna cover the programming change and we just have to change one value, that's the macro, because in the previous videos, we set up the ABB standard macro. Now I still recommend you go in and check out that video for setting up the standard macro because it also has you set up your motor data. But in this case, we're changing the macro so that it'll actually match a three wire start stop control. So this print on page 111 of the manual, the three wire macro is actually the one we're gonna be switching to because this will allow us to set up our push buttons appropriately for our start stop control. So let's go ahead and go into the menu. So we're gonna press the menu button and we're gonna to go to the parameters option. And then we're gonna scroll down to startup data, which is parameter group 99, and we're gonna click select. And we're gonna scroll down to parameter 9902, which is the application macro. As I said before, right now it's set up for the ABB standard. And we're gonna click edit. And we're gonna switch that macro to three wire. Now what that does is it changes the wiring print for this drive. It's kind of nice actually. These drives have a series of macros that are like presets that are set up for already existing configurations. So you can find the one that actually best fits your application and go in here and change it at any time. So we're gonna change this one to three wire and we're gonna click save and it goes ahead and changes it. It says three wire on the screen and we're gonna exit out. Now that we've actually changed our three wire start our application macro, now we can actually go in and do our wiring. Now, according to our print, our common uh, of our push buttons, in other words, the supply voltage of our push buttons, we're gonna come from parameter, I'm sorry, terminal nine. And this is gonna come into one side of our start button. And then the other side of our start button is coming out into terminal 12. So essentially electricity is going to flow from terminal nine into terminal 12 when we press that button because the button's a normally open push button. So as soon as we press the button in, electricity will flow from nine to 12 and the start command will be issued. Terminal 13 is our stop. Now the way stop buttons work is that they're normally closed. The reason being is if for some reason the button fails or falls apart on behind it, that's happened, believe it or not, the drive will always be stopped. So electricity is always flowing to terminal 13 or our stop command unless you press the button. When you press the button, you actually interrupt the electrical flow and stop the drive. So the drive always needs some kind of input on 13 in order to run in this configuration. So we're gonna, again, have our terminal nine electricity flow into the one side of our normally closed on our stop button. And on the other side of our normally closed our stop button, we're coming back into terminal 13 and electricity will always be flowing between those two unless I press the stop button and then the drive knows a stop command has been issued. And that is all there is to wiring and programming it. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so now that we have it programmed, essentially right now I'm in local control. Now in the previous video, we covered the local remote. Essentially when it's in local, it's controlling my speed and my start stop command from the keypad. So if I press start from the keypad or stop from the keypad, I can start it locally. Now to switch over to my actual push button station and my speed pot, which I set up in, in the previous video, I have to select this local remote button again. And now it's looking at my wiring in order to determine whether I'm gonna start or not. Now I'm gonna press the start command. Now in the previous video, we covered that you can 
Basically with a speed pot you can adjust your speed all the way up and all the way down. Now you'll notice when I press the start button this drive actually started up right away. Now there are instances since I just changed our application macro there are instances where the actual drive will initiate what's called an ID magnetization run which means your drive will make some funny noises and your motor will make some funny noises for about 30 seconds while the drive identifies the actual characteristics of the motor. So don't be surprised if the first time you press the start button that happens. So I just wanted to point that out that essentially sometimes it's going to actually run, especially if it's the first time running the motor, it's actually going to run a tuning before issuing the start command. So as you can see my start button worked. As soon as I press this button down electricity flows between terminal 9 and terminal 12 which is my start command. And right now electricity is always flowing between 9 and 13. And when I press this button it drops out that signal. And when it drops out that signal the drive detects a stop. And that is all there is to this video. If you have any other questions make sure you swing by our website at precisionelect.com. That's precision-elec.com. You can also call us and uh, we do sell these drives at our website so you can get pricing information, manuals, any other information you might need in order to kind of get running. And again, if you run into any problems, don't hesitate to call us. We've been doing this for a long time. We're your industrial automation service center, drives, motors, PLCs, controls. Uh, so feel free to stop by and say hi.